Live, this is 24 Hour News 8. We start with that startling story out of the Caledonia area. 42,000 plus images and videos of children engaged in sex acts allegedly found on the computer of a man who's a counselor, a foster parent, and a volunteer. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker is on the story. And Ken, that stockpile of porn is just disgusting, but that's not all of it, is it? Yeah, you're right, Sue. It's, it's actually difficult to say which allegation is more disturbing. That collection of child porn or the manifesto that gives instructions on how to target kids. Jeffrey Marchione is facing federal charges for allegedly having more than 42,000 computer images and 1,600 videos of child porn. The feds also say that the 47-year-old Caledonia area man had sent a manifesto through the internet instructing people how to find and molest a child and get away with it. That they should become mentors, coaches, or counselors. Now it's not clear who wrote that manifesto, but state records we found show he is a licensed counselor, apparently working out of his home. Court records we found today also show that he and his wife had been foster parents to 23 children through 2006, and that he had worked as a volunteer, though it's not clear where. This showed the records show that they had actually adopted two of those children, both boys. Now it's not clear if they were still foster parents today, court records don't show that, but the manifesto also suggests starting young, when that child is five years old. In the indictment, the feds allege he was trying to expand his child porn collection over the interview and that he liked boys ages 10 to 14. Now Marcion has no previous sex convictions, but records show he got his counseling license in 2009, three years after he was accused of domestic violence in Kent County, a case involving one of his adopted sons. Marcion pleaded guilty in that case to disturbing the peace. Today we spoke to neighbors who told us that Marcion seemed to be a nice man and that they were shocked by the allegations. Marcion is in the Nuevo County Jail and is expected in federal court in Grand Rapids on Tuesday on a motion to keep him there.